Well, Thunderstruck Team 2 looks like is not going to be a thing, and we're going to get a another new promo called Radioactive, and the card design is leaked for it, I'm not gonna lie, um, it doesn't look great. Card design kinda looks like my hairy ass, now, uh, maybe it'll look a lot better when we see it actually in-game. But we've got our hero packs, I'll open that for the end of the video, so stick around for that if you want to see it. We got some actually some pretty decent skill moves and weak foot boosts on those cards. If you guys want to buy coins, you can go to MMOXP.com, the link is in the description, use my code JFC at checkout for it a 5% discount. If you guys didn't see, like, uh, Wesley Schneider is 5-star, five 5-star, five like, that's an insane card, especially for this time of year if you pack him. We did get the official date, or not the date, but the, uh, official time of release. They said later in December we're going to get these cards. So if you pack one of these top ones, consider yourself pretty lucky because you might get a card that's, like, way above the power curve for right now, but Schneider's 5-star, five 5-star. Five Viali up to 4-star, four 4-star. Four a lot of these cards here got a nice little upgrade. Carlos Tevez, 5-star skill moves with technical plus. This is an awesome card right there. Lipman in up to four star, four star. And this card actually looks pretty good for right now. It looks pretty good. Now, 23 aggression. Hold on a sec. What the fuck was it before this upgrade? 23 aggression? Anyway, but the, another card with a nice little upgrade. Rui Costa, still four star, four star. Pelo Futre though, five star skill moves, which is awesome to see. So as technical plus, this card is just a nice little like kind of inform upgrade plus the skill moves on that hero card. McManaman has technical plus. Giuli, they just kept Acrobat on because fuck this card, I guess. I don't know why they kept Acrobat on. I guess someone's got to have it because they made it for a reason. So someone's got to keep having it. And I guess they just keep giving Giuli it for no reason at all. Ole has first touch plus. Berbatov has first touch plus. Four star, four star. Then it's a weak foot boost. Maybe Rosicki. Now it's four star, four star with incisive pass. That's pretty awesome. Ramirez has intercept plus because of course he does Rickon looks like my hairy ass and Demarcus Beasley once again still has rapid plus this card does not look honestly that much better than his normal card doesn't it this looks like almost the exact same am I tripping about that I don't know but uh anyway there's some decent upgrades in here for sure and the women's cards also you got Kessler Kessler looks amazing four star four star this card looks awesome honestly bomb pass star with relentless uh looks like a really good card to be honest with you so I like that card a lot too and then Scott there also with relentless so I want to talk about that quickly year in review player pick came out today it's one of three players that were released exclusively through SBCs and objectives in Ultimate Team 24 in October, not including heroes and icons. Here's the list of what you can get here. Your best player, Hyungmin Sun. We got Rafael Leal, Rodrigo, Alvarez, Odegaard. There's some decent cards in here. You know, you gotta kind of get one of those pretty much top four, you would say. And even Alvarez is kind of questionable, but, uh, you know, the top three are gonna be very good. The truth is here, I mean, don't complete this. Just don't do it. There's so much other stuff to put your fodder into right now that is utterly just worthless to complete this one. And also, a little disappointing that we didn't get like Cyber Monday Flash SBCs. Like what happened to Cyber Monday? Are we not online playing a video game? Like wouldn't Cyber Monday, you would think kind of be, even be like more hyped up than Black Friday would be? And Flash SBCs are just kind of fun. So I don't know. I wish we saw some today, but oh well. But here we go. Here is the new promo coming. Radioactive official card design here. And uh, I gotta say the community was not the biggest fan of this card design. You know, that's an awful card design, says Jake with almost a thousand likes. Game already dead because of so many promos. We can get into that in a sec. I, I don't think that is really the problem right now, but we'll talk about that more in a sec here. I think the card design looks uh, not great. Here's a better look at it, actually. Here it is without like anybody on the card. Now, I gotta say, I gotta give an A plus for the effort. Okay, they, they definitely spent a lot of time on it. I, I can say that. Um, it gives me some SpongeBob vibes, but I could maybe see people liking the design, so I don't want to say, like, it's total dog shit. But, uh, yeah, eh, what do you think about that? Let me know. So there are no leaks as well for the radioactive team. We just had the card design, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, let's move on here to uh, an interesting thing that happened today as well. Some people have been sent two or even three UCL hero packs. Uh, if you're one of these lucky people, congratulations. If you weren't, go fuck yourself because nothing will happen. So some people just got a couple chances and some people didn't because this game is a buggy mess and that's really all you got to say about it. I did not get the pre-order and I received one pack. Just got the best one. He gets Wesley Schneider and this man didn't even fucking pre-order the thing. I gotta say, I gotta say thank you. EA Sports. And also from EA here, we got the, you know, every Monday we get sort of the previewed content for the week because they don't know how to deal with leakers. Well, let's look at this. Uh, Icon SBC, new evolutions. We already got a new Evo today. It's a center back one. We also got John Barnes today. Icon SBC, so we've seen both of those. Thunderstruck SBCs, a Saudi League showdown SBC, which we also got today. Set piece... <laughs> Set piece moments refresh and upgrade SPCs. What is bro cooking with this page right here? Can't say it's getting me hyped up, and we've actually seen half the content already. Uh, so we can look forward to set piece moments refresh and upgrade SPCs. So um, 
once again ea a round of applause but i don't want to shit on them too hard because the content has been great recently so i'm just making jokes but i gotta give them credit where credit is due but um i still might shit on them from time to time now team of the year i'm bringing this up because uh actually every year i save team of the year packs once this promo ends i will be saving packs until january when team of the year drops so i always live stream an opening i just want to tell you guys that now just to be you know prepared for that in a month or two that i always save like a thousand packs basically to go up open for team of the year when the full team gets released so we'll be doing that live on stream because i did that last year it was a lot of fun and team of the year is gonna be a lot of fun i did not pack a single team of the year card last year um yes i did think about putting my ps5 in my microwave and uh pressing start but i didn't hopefully this year we can get some team of the year cards so the fc pro open was today if you guys did not see here are the cards that are going to get upgrades we have sadio Mane getting the plus one upgrade all position and play style renan lodi plus two upgrade along with mullen getting the two upgrade one position and one play style we've got kolo muwani getting an upgrade and mark 11 and his genro that nobody cares about got no upgrade so uh, that worked out pretty well actually yeah sadio Mane went from i think about 450,000 coins to a million coins at his peak i want to say what did he go to now let's take a look at sadio Mane. he is four <laughs> oh my god i didn't think he'd go down this much oh my god look look at this look at this graph he went up so 700k it's on the graph which means oh, actually wait go up one more it's 825 which means it's always higher i saw a million coins i've never seen anything like this on a card that's not 2000 coins that price spike is absolutely ridiculous i don't know what tiktoker got a hold of this card but they made bank they made an absolute killing on it okay so we talked about the buy window probably being yesterday and the market has actually started to rise up so it looks like it was a pretty decent time to buy you know puteas was like 380 up to 420 that's really nice to see graham hansen 489 she's up quite a bit right now as well and let me remind you if you have a card that is a gold card that is going to be coming back into pack soon because the best of team of the week when that goes away and the sort of best of promo cards we've seen once that goes away the gold cards come back in the gold cards are gonna go down by a lot ram hansen she's 489 right now her trailblazer has been in packs for the last week right make sure you sell that gold card before the gold card comes back into packs you definitely want to do that with all of them i'm talking like atana bomati i want to say is probably up there but mo sala is up there you know his gold card like those types of cards that are out of packs right now you want to get rid of by the time they come back in a million percent but right now because we're not gonna get thunderstruck team two you actually are probably looking at a decent outlook for the market because if radioactive you know maybe that is going to be as good as, as good as thunderstruck I, i'm not too sure nobody knows because it's another original promo which is kind of nice to see also by the way but if it's not that great the market's just gonna go up because this content was crazy coin injection is coming into the game here probably gonna see most out of pack specials and icons that are in the power curve and heroes in the power curve probably just go up so i actually like the outlook unless we get you know radioactive leaks and they're insane which could happen but i'm, I'm leaning it maybe less likely okay let's go back to this for a second i want to talk about this for a little bit game already dead because of so many promos you know it got 530 likes but the replies got some likes too you know what, what was the first reply here promo is the only thing that gets people to play their game imagine playing champs and nothing's in packs we wouldn't like that stop crying and i do agree that um there is a little bit of a perfect medium with promos with ea we don't want too little we don't want too many i can understand that that could be really hard to like try and give us and i'll be honest with you right now with how good this content's been this is the last thing i'm gonna complain about i'm gonna complain about the gameplay 10 times louder than I am any piece of content right at this moment. So I do not think you would care at all about too many promos after we got this promo, which is one of the best ones we've had in a long, long time. And if the gameplay was, say, even the same as last year, if we got just half a decent gameplay, that should be where everyone's like real kind of criticism lies right now. Because right now with the gameplay being this bad, you're going to use these cards way less than if they were good. So you're grinding for these cards and you're not going to use them as much as you probably would like to because this gameplay is not good right now. And they really have got got to fix the goddamn auto press i say this like every video so you probably hate hearing it by now but it's so bad but i think that's where our complaints have got to lie right now I, I really do and the content's not perfect so don't get me wrong not at all but it's just so much better than what we had that okay we're getting towards the right direction here let's focus on something else like the gameplay being really bad you know that's kind of what i think about it but Okay, let's hopefully get a, uh, a dupe theory Ramirez. I got Ramirez in my last, or two hero packs ago, I want to say I got Ramirez. He's insane. Let me get a little dupe theory. That'd be awesome. I think most of these cards are pretty good, so it would be nice to not get a fat L here on this pre-order pack. It's Czech Republic, and it's Rosicki. Oh, man. I mean, this card looks okay, but he's just not going to be used, is he? I mean, 85 pace, 83 shot. He's four-star, four-star. Incisive pass is nice. 
I mean, I just, oh, it's just not that good though, is it? It's just not that good. It's a solid card for sure. Like I, I think this can fit into a lot of people's teams to be honest with you. What are his work rates? High, medium, right, mid, center, mid, good bonus league of links. Like this card isn't bad, but it's just not what you want. You know, definitely not what you really want to see. So I got Rosicki. Let me know what you guys got. Hope you guys get something better than I did. Thank you for watching every day. I love you all. Next video, reverse. Peace.